Needham native Sonny Williams will stay in space until February. NASA deciding today that the spacecraft, which delivered her and another astronaut into orbit back in June, cannot be trusted to return them to Earth. Space flight is risky. NASA's top man stated the obvious today, even as the space agency concluded it was simply too risky to fly a pair of astronauts back to Earth on board Boeing's troubled Starliner capsule. This has not been an easy decision, but it is absolutely the right one. It was back in early June that veteran test pilot Sonny Williams from Needham and Butch Wilmore launched in the Starliner for what was supposed to be an eight-day voyage to the International Space Station. Williams was expecting hiccups. There might be a couple things that we'll be surprised by, but uh, I think we are ready to handle any types of surprises that we get. However, faulty thrusters and helium leaks plagued the mission from takeoff and prompted NASA to keep both astronauts in space all summer, while Boeing engineers struggled to solve the Starliner's problems, apparently unsuccessfully. So the decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. Today, the agency decided to send the Starliner back to Earth next month empty, while leaving Williams and Wilmore on board the ISS until SpaceX can shuttle them back to Earth next February. Their eight-day journey now extended to more than eight months. Our core value is safety, and it is our North Star. Now, Boeing did not attend today's briefing. Both SpaceX and the Russians also have capsules that are docked at the space station right now. But those flights are returning booked with other astronauts. And NASA believes trying to squeeze Williams and Wilmore on board would be dangerous.